In this video I'm going to show you how to do a few more things in the 2x client. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you first uh, the job folder. Um, for example, Steve has M on Madison, so I'm going to double click on the folder. And sometimes it's easier to use the mouse or quicker. Um, I want to note that also sometimes this may be slow and it's not attributed to the iPad. It's, um, it's just sometimes the server is slow, so just be patient with it. And as you can see here, here are all the folders um, for the different documents pertaining to the job. And each of you should only have your own jobs folders on your desktop. Okay. And we have here um, on your desktop, there should be a daily report. You should be sending this each day to your project manager. Now, um, working in Excel, it's um, there are a little, there are a couple little tricks to using it. Um, but basically, you know, you can scroll up and down by coming over here to this bar. Just hold in the mouse until it's blue, and you can drag it up that way, and you move the whole screen like this. The same for if you need to scroll left and right in the document, you would hold and then drag left and right. And you can zoom in like this, but of course you can only view so much of the document because you're you're zooming in and out of the window, not the actual not actual Excel. Um, you know, if you needed for some reason to zoom in or out, you would just go to like just like on a regular computer view and then zoom here. But um, So here's your daily report form. I like to zoom in to type on it um, to enter information. It's just easier. And to get into a cell, you just double click. And you can see that you're in there by the indication of this little line. And then you press the keyboard key to type. So project number you just click on that for your numbers and I see it's taking a second okay so you gotta be patient with it unfortunately there's a little bit of a delay and you just uh, click on the next box that you want to go to it takes a second to type in it um, let's see yep you just click once or you can double click hit done and then um, since we need to see further down here like I said you can hold on to this bar and scroll down or you can click on this arrow to go down a little bit less less quickly and scroll down I want to scroll to the bottom of the document, so I'm just going to move it like this. It's faster. Okay, and sign by, you can see all that. Okay, now if you want to minimize, you just go up here. If you want to minimize Excel, well, that'll make it smaller. So you could, um, you can make it like that. You can, if you scroll down to the corner, you can change the size of the window. You just wait till that arrow appears. And you're going to hold this in until it turns blue and drag it to the size that you want it to be. And now if you want to drag the actual Excel window, you would go to the top of the bar, hold this in, and I can move this down here. I guess there's a delay. Again, be patient. It didn't turn blue, so key, make sure this turn, the round button turns blue. Okay, so say um, you wanted to, um, so you're gonna, you have your daily report completed and now you need to email it to your project manager. There's several ways you can do this. 
um, you can save the document onto the desktop and then like I showed you before you can uh, attach the document to the email or you can right click on the document and then send to mail recipient um, I showed you how to do that before so for now I'm just going to show you how to save this you can go file and each time you do one I would save it as something you know the it's save the date to it and you're gonna it, so it brings up this screen and you're going to save it you choose the save location I would just save it to the desktop and um, after you save it and email it maybe you want to get rid of it and trash it later so you don't have a bunch of files junking up your desktop but for now um, you choose save as and then here I'm going to move this window okay let's see use the mouse to move the window make sure it turns blue okay and then you click on here and then I'm going to click my type right here and you type in um, also it, so you see because the keyboard's so big you can't see what you're typing um, I'm going to move this window up just so you can see it better. It's a bit of a delay. Whoops. Okay. I'm waiting for it. I guess it never. Okay, that was kind of weird. All right, um, so again, we're gonna hit my. Oh, you can also drag the whole window, bring the whole window up like that, and then open your keyboard so you can see what you're typing. So I'm just gonna enter the date. Okay, and then we have the desktop selected. Make sure that's the location. Okay, yep and then you just hit save and then we're going to close this and then right here you can see the file was saved now I'm going to open up Outlook just to show you one way that you can send this file okay I'm going to make this smaller so we can see the actual uh, I'm going to move this so we can see the actual file that we want to work with. Okay, it's down here. So you go to New. And, well, one thing you can do is you click on Attach File. And then you click on Desktop because that's where you saved it. And then if you scroll down, you just wait until you see the file. easier to drag this down okay and it's right here you just click on it and then you hit insert but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you another way to attach the file just so you have options whatever you feel more comfortable doing okay um, if you look at this I want to close make the window smaller so you press that up oh, it was already it's big we're just going to make it smaller so we go down to the corner down here, wait till you see that little arrow, and then hold. Okay, as you can see, I'm making this email message smaller. And then I'm going to move it over here. And this is just so you can see another way to attach a file to an email. Again, here's the file that you want to use. The R, uh, I'm sorry, that's the RFP form. Um, here's your daily report. Actually, it's up here. So you, you arrow over it, you hold it in, and then you drag it over here to the email. And you do it in the body of the email part. That's where you drag it over, and then it'll automatically attach it in that region. And then you need, um, this is where you type in who it's to, and then you just click send. Um, also, I'm going to show you, I'm going to send it to Steve just so you can see how to save a file from an email to your desktop. It's pretty simple. 
here. I'll, I'll try it this way. We're going two. And I'm going to click Steve. Two. Okay. And then I'm going to send. And we should receive the email shortly. I'm going to move this window over a little bit. If you hit send or receive, that'll push the email quicker. Okay, so here's the document. Now I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to do save as and it's already on the desktop so I'm not going to resave it but that's how you save the document. Here is where you choose where the document's going to go. You choose desktop over here and then you would rename it but I'm not going to save it because it's already on there. Um, the other thing that I want to show you how to do is uh, if you have an accident on the job and you need to make a report, here's this OSHA 301 form. It's a PDF and it's already got, um, it's an executable PDF so all you're going to do is fill in the blue boxes and then you're going to save as with the appropriate date and then you email it like I've explained before. So um, again, you can zoom in like this to, um, to make, you know, to see the screen better, but because you need to zoom in on the actual program to see the file closer. So up here where there's a plus, you just hit that. If you need to see it better, I'm gonna zoom in big so you can see. And then down here, use this bar again to scroll over. I'm going to scroll over a little more. Okay. Well, just not. Again, it's taken a little longer than usual, but that's fine. So to enter in the box, you just click on it, and then you hit your keyboard. And you can move this while your keyboard's up to see it better too. You know, if Steve was injured, you would type in all of your information. You know, you'd zoom out so you can continue past. You know, continue to the next forms of the box. You go up here to File, Save As, or you can also attach to email. That's a quick way if you need to send it to the appropriate person. You don't want to save it to your desktop and keep a copy. It's up to you. And it asks you, do you want to save changes? No, because we want to keep that standardized form on there. The only way you want to save these documents is with um, additional information like with a date included and stuff like that. You don't want to save the original document because um, you need to keep that standardized form. But um, that covers uh, most of the things that you're going to be using the client for uh, and I'll uh, pick, pick back up from here in a little while.